Hi and welcome to Outwell and to the Harrier 6 SATC from our Smart Air Technical Cotton Collection. You can see here that it's a large family tent and it's tunnel in design. It can sleep up to six people. We have three bedrooms across the back area, a large sealed living space in the middle here and this sort of extended canopy part at the front, all of which we will show you in detail shortly. But first, I want to talk you through the details on the outside of the tent. So I think for me, the first thing to highlight here is the material that we're using for the fly sheet. This is our Outex AirTech material. So this is a technical cotton, as the name suggests. And what you will find here is that we have a 65% cotton and 35% polyester. So this material has quite a few advantages, which I'll just take you through. So for me, the first uh, and probably most important is actually how long this tent will last. Now that comes down to the fact that this material doesn't degrade particularly quickly under UV degradation or sunlight. So what you can be uh, safe to know is that you have a good long lasting tent here. The second for me would be uh, the breathability aspect of this type of material. So if you're away in warmer climates, you'll certainly be kept a lot cooler and more comfortable within a tent with this type of material for a fly sheet. But actually what you will find is this material will actually uh, change depending on what temperature it's in. So whereby it will keep you nice and cool on a warm day. It'll actually keep you that little bit warmer on a cooler day as well, just by the material reacting to different temperatures. So the last thing uh, about this material is that it's actually naturally waterproof. Now we do put a coating on the outside to allow uh, light drizzle to run down the tent, um, but the tent will actually seal itself. So it's naturally waterproof. And to do that, all it needs to do is get wet and dry just a few times and it will, like I say, seal itself. So those are the sort of three main key points for the fly sheet on here. So next I'd like to talk to you about the frame that we're using on here. Um, and as the collection name suggests, the Smart Air Technical Cotton Collection, you will find that this tent is indeed inflatable. So from front to back here, all of this frame is inflatable. So we have these tubes which run uh, sideways across the tent. And we then have a, a interconnecting tubes on the inside that run down the middle, which you will see on the inside. And that is what forms our advanced air tube system. So this is part of our smart air system where we only have one single valve uh, to inflate this tent and the whole thing can be inflated from that single point, which of course means that it's really simple and easy to do. Uh, we will show you the valve shortly, but before that, I just want to highlight that the tent does come with a pump. So it's just like this one here. It's a double action uh, two way pump. So all that means is that every time you pull up and down on the lever, you are pushing air into these tubes. The pump also has a pressure gauge on the top here, so you can keep an eye on the pressure that you're inflating the tent to. And we would recommend inflating this tent up to 7 PSI, which represents about 0.5 bar. What we'll do now is just show you the valves for inflating and for deflating. So as I just mentioned there then, we have one single inflation point to inflate this entire tent. You can just see it's quite clearly marked here. It says air in. So underneath here, you'll find the valve. And if I just open this up, what I want to show you is that it's a one-way valve. So even though the tent is inflated at the moment, we're not getting air coming out of here. So to inflate, it's quite simple. You can either just pop in the pump that we supply with the tent, or of course, our Typhoon pump can go into here as well. To deflate the tent is also really simple and easy to do because each tube down the side of the tent has its own air out valve. So if I open this back to here, you can see here, this is where we have our deflating point. So to deflate the tent, all we need to do is simply turn this to an open position for the air to come out. And as I said there, each tube has its own individual one of these for quick deflation. So once the tent is inflated, we then just have a fiberglass pole for the front canopy here. So you can see that it easily attaches uh, in here. And then there is the pole sleeve that goes round to the other side. Uh, just to highlight that the fiberglass pole that we use here is actually a really good quality fiberglass. It's our Duratec. Uh, so this means that uh, instead of your standard black fiberglass poles, you actually see it looks a little bit different. Uh, that's just to highlight the fact that it actually has a protective coating or sheath around the outside of it, just to make it that little bit stronger than standard black fiberglass poles that you'll uh, be used to. So next, uh, we have our ventilation down the side of the tent here. So there's some on this side and the other side and at the back of the tent as well. So under here, you'll see that we have a strip of mesh, which is going to allow cool fresh air into the tent, even though the uh, material itself is breathable. 
this will just uh, aid in uh, keeping the tent a little bit more comfortable. If you don't want these in place, they're really simple to remove. You can just take the Velcro tab off like this and then press down. I'll just leave it out for the moment. Uh, next, you can see here we have large uh, windows all the way around the side and the front of the tent here. Um, these are going to allow plenty of light into the tent to uh, make it feel nice and spacious, as you'll see. Um, but they are tinted windows, which you will be able to see from here. So those have two key functions, one of which is to reduce the amount of glare from the sun inside the tent. And the second is, of course, to give you much better privacy when you're inside the tent as well. Uh, so next, I'll highlight our uh, guy lines that we use all the way around the tent here. So this is our floating guy line. So the reason it's called a floating guy line is because you can see there are actually two parts to these guy lines here. So you have the top section, which is uh, color coded to match in with the color on the tent. And then the bottom half is our classic luminous guy line here. And hopefully these should be easier to spot when it's a little bit darker. So you're not going to trip over these quite as easily. So the floating aspect comes from when you're standing at a distance, these actually blend in with the tent and you just have these bright luminous guy lines which appear to float. Uh, all of the guy lines then have their own retainer, um, which is just what these loops here are for. So when you come to pack the tent away, you can simply roll up the guy lines in your hands and pop them in here so that the next time you come to use the tent, the guy lines are easily accessible and you don't have a tangled bird nest of guy lines that you need to waste time untangling. So from here, we'll go around to the front and I just want to highlight this canopy area at the front it does have some uh, mud valances around the bottom to allow any rainwater to run down and away from this area. Uh, so while we're here, I will just show you that there is actually a really good space at the front of this tent here. So you can see we actually have a chair uh, parked up at the moment in here. So that's going to give you a good area for shade if you're lucky enough for it to be a hot and sunny day. Uh, of course, if it's a little bit more drizzly, then it will also give you a bit of shelter, but also a good space for perhaps some storage or even a kitchen unit and things like that. So with us having this shelter at the front, that then allows us to have a completely vertical front wall to the tent. And what that creates is full usable space all the way throughout this tent. So there's no sloping front on this one. So it means that straight away you've got all this usable space inside the front here. So I just think that's worth pointing out. We then also have our tinted windows, of course, across the front here as well. Um, there is one on the door, which uh, is a D door. So you can see here that we have it zipped away at the moment. And uh, with it being a D door, it zips to the side, which just makes it that little bit more accessible. Uh, just behind that, though, we then have a full mesh door, which we also have rolled away just now. But you can see here that it's a, a good quality mesh and it's a little bit darker in color. So even when the mesh is over, you will still get good privacy. But of course, that's there to allow for great through ventilation within the tent, but hopefully keep out those unwanted bugs. So the next thing I want to highlight should be quite obvious. And what that is, is just how much space there is in this tent. It's a massive amount of living space within here. Uh, you can see here we have some pretty good sized tables and chairs in place. We have a smaller coffee table and chair over here. So there is still plenty of space around here. Lots of head height in here as well. I'm quite tall at around 1 meter 95. And you can see above me, there's still plenty of headroom. So next, I'll highlight the, uh, the advanced air tube system that I mentioned earlier on, which allows this tent to be inflated from one single point. So you can see that we have this uh, tube that runs down the middle of the tent. Now, what you will find is that the tubes are actually connected using these valves here. So what this allows us to do is once the tent is inflated, we can come to these points here and turn these to this position, which would be a closed position. Now, what these actually are, are isolating valves. So in the unlikely event of something going wrong, you have now separated each one of these tubes. So even though the whole tent comes up as one, you can then separate them all. So uh, from here, I think this is a good point to uh, highlight. We have a lantern hanging point and a good central location. If you do want to hang a lantern from the middle, uh, there is a point just here. So if you do have uh, a hanging lantern, it's a good point for it. And then actually running away both sides from here, we have cable tidies, which you can see we're actually utilizing for one of our own lights here, but it does run all the way down to a cable entry point on the side of the tent here. So if I just open this up, you'll be able to see we are actually running uh, some power into the tent at the moment. But what that allows you to do is do that without actually having the door uh, zipped open. So you can close this door down, no problem at all. So just I'll highlight there then, there is actually two doors, one on either side here, and these both also have full mesh zip doors as well. So the same idea as the front, you can have the outer doors rolled away with the mesh doors dropped down on the inside to give fantastic ventilation uh, within the tent. So this whole area from that front vertical wall to the back here is fully sealed. 
the ground sheet is sealed all the way around here and it is a bathtub style ground sheet as well so you can see that it's coming up around the edges uh, so that's going to stop any drafts coming in at that sort of lower level it's going to hopefully stop things like dirt and dust and sand blowing into the ground sheet and of course again hopefully keep out those unwanted creepy crawlies as well uh, the ground sheet itself is a good quality uh, double coated polyethylene and it has a hydrostatic head of 10,000 millimeters so as you would expect it is completely waterproof so one thing to highlight in the tent is the overall shape that we have here is actually a gothic arch shape to the roof point here. So that's where the roof is coming up and then going to an angle in the middle. And that's actually given us even better increased head height within the middle of the tent. So something else I want to highlight to you is I mentioned the windows earlier on allowing uh, light into the tent. But if you do want less light or, of course, more privacy, then you can see here we have these zipped curtains, which we have just have rolled down at the moment that can obviously just be zipped up or down depending on how much privacy or light you want. At the top of the window here as well, I'll just highlight the mesh strip that we talked about earlier. So another really handy feature within the Harrier 6 is the uh, hanging basket here, which comes with the tent. So it just easily clips into place and that gives you this handy storage basket up the top here. So next, I want to highlight the bedroom area, which is situated at the back of the tent. And as I said before, there are three bedrooms in here, which can sleep up to six people. Uh, how we attach the bedrooms to the tent is using our wave-shaped hanging point system. So that's where we have this waved mesh across the top here, which of course gives a great sort of style and look to the inside. But it does have a function as well of taking off any of the stress points at the top seam of the bedroom. You can then see that we also have our stripes on the bedrooms to of course tie in with the colour of the tent and give you that real home away from home feel. We have plenty of storage pockets all on the outside uh, of the bedrooms which you can see are handy for smaller personal possessions. You'll then also see that the bedroom doors all have mesh ventilation panels within them as well. Uh, again these are a darker sort of no see -um mesh here so what that means is you're going to get good privacy uh, even when the mesh is open like this. If you want full privacy, there is actually a curtain which is rolled away at the moment, which can be zipped into place to close this over. Uh, inside the bedroom, there are plenty more features as well. If I sort of swing around to this side, you'll see in here we have some handy storage pockets along the sides. And uh, these are also, of course, on the opposite sides and the back wall of the middle bedroom. We then have a large ventilation panel across the entire length of the bedrooms across the back here, which corresponds to uh, outside panels on the fly sheet as well. Then what we also have separating the bedrooms is a full zippable piece of material on this side uh, and here as well. So what we can do is, of course, open this up to be one large bedroom across the back if that's what you desire. Uh, or, of course, you can choose exactly if you have one bedrooms, two bedrooms or three bedrooms just by different configurations within there. Finally, the bedrooms also feature our universal system, which is where we have the zip running down the center here. And we'll just show you now how that works. We have a number of optional extras available for the tent that would include a three layer insulated carpet for this living space which is what we have in at the moment there's also a fleece carpet available as well so that's obviously going to give you good comfort within that area we then have a footprint available to go underneath the ground sheet of the tent which will keep the ground sheet clean and dry on those wet and muddy days and for those who want even more living or storage space we also have an awning that will fit this as well so there you have it then, that's the features of the Harrier 6 SATC from our Smart Air Technical Cotton Collection. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, this tent can be inflated using our Typhoon 12 volt compressor pump.